So as I said, I was uh, stuck in Canada. I had to go. I, I was here for when it all started. The, all the shit was going down, and, and nobody knew what was happening, and it was uh, very scary and horrific, and nobody knew what to do. And, and, uh, and then uh, it finally started to open up a little bit, and that's when I had to go to Canada, uh, which I assumed they'd have their shit together, but they... Oh, Canada. Um, <laughs> They did not, and uh, and we were we were there. My my whole family was there, and and uh, you know you weren't allowed to go back and forth, and and we it was stay at home orders. It was locked down except for two weeks in early March. Uh, it was just locked down. There was nothing to do. I thought I'd be able to do stand up. I didn't. My point being that I didn't get to do stand up for a year and a half, which is an eternity if you're a stand up. It's the easily easily the most narcissistic. Uh, <laughs> job you can have. So I get on stage in front of strangers and I'm like, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you listen to me for an hour. <laughs> fuck it, fuck that. Not, and I'm gonna charge you. I'm gonna, ch I'm going to charge you to listen to me. And it, the narcissism is, is insane. So I, I'm just saying that I, I truly, literally dreamed of this. I mean, this is this, I, these, this moment, I mean, I, I, I just, I dreamed of it and, uh, you know, I was wearing a, a, a different outfit, uh, but... Next day, I'm owed... I'm like a one-piece mechanic, uh, like a jump... What do you call it? Coveralls? They were like coveralls I was wearing, which I've never worn. I've never owned coveralls. I've never worn them. Uh, and, but they were kind of nice. They weren't, like, greasy or anything. It was, it was understood in the dream that these were kind of, you know, not like a tux T-shirt, but it was just like a, 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 a nice, nice coveralls. And then and we were... Uh, 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 we were it, was, it was at this... Um, it was in my house, but not in my real house, but in the dream it was my house, you know? But I've never been there in real life, but you know, and then, and, and you were there and we were, um, and we were like hosting this party. The two of us were like, we, I, we were like generally the host. I couldn't tell you what the thing was, but it was very fancy. And there were people out on a lawn and you know, there were people, servers with champagne and stuff. And it was just very fancy. And we knew we were a little bit nervous about it. We started uh, making out at one point. And then, and then, and then it kind of switched and we were in this like old pantry, like a, a big pantry, like a walk-in pantry. And we're looking for something. And, and then we made out again, but this time with, with fingers. And, uh, and, and then, but then we started getting nervous, right? Because, uh, uh, it, uh, so we heard that Fran Drescher, so somebody comes in, Fran Drescher's here, Fran Drescher's here. And we're like, oh shit. And it became really important to us in the dream. Uh, it became really important uh, to let everybody know, to make sure they knew that uh, it's like Fran Drescher uh, One total bitch a year Not really a nanny She's an actress playing a nanny <laughs> Everybody needs to know that And then And then And then uh, 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 And then And then It kind of switched again Because I, I Had to take a shit So then everything <laughs> The rest of the dream Was uh, Me uh, just running around going like, oh, I got to take a shit. Is this, oh, this bathroom is, uh, the water's running. It's not, it's broken. And uh, what about in here? Oh, it's occupied. And it was 20 minutes of walking around this house going like, what about here? Oh, there's, uh, the, that's too hot. Okay, what about here? Oh, the lid is broken. And then, uh, and then I woke up because uh, I had to take a shit. And, <laughs> and that is about how I'd say roughly... 20% of my dreams go now that I'm, now that I'm older. Uh, I find like 20% of my dream, I'll be, something will be happening and then it'll just switch to like, oh, I gotta take a shit, you know? And like, good, good, fun dreams, like fun dreams. Like I'm part of this international team and we're scuba diving and there's like this wreck that we have to go and we have to find this like vial in the wreck. And then I'm like, this is, and we're all, you know, uh, uh, you know, signaling each other and like, we're getting close to the thing. I'm like, oh, hang on, I gotta go back to the boat. I gotta go back to the boat. <laughs> hey, is there, where's the toilet on this thing? I, and help me get this wetsuit off, you know? Um, or like, you know, my high school crush is trying to blow me and I'm like, this is great, I always, wait, 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 I'm sorry, hang on. I don't, where's your, where's your toilet? Just, st just hang on, just stay there. Maybe, you know, make an omelet or something. I'll get, where's the toilet? And I realize that that dream will never end satisfactorily. Uh, I hope, or maybe it will, maybe it will. 
That'll be a double-edged sword. Just in the dream, like I'm running around 20 minutes, like, oh, finally. And I'm like, huh? What? Oh, no. Oh. I'm old. You know, in the very <laughs> you're old when you go to the beach and you look about COVID, what to do, what its causes were. And one of the fir- very first things they said was one of the symptoms you'll know you have it is if you lose your sense of taste or smell. So with that in mind, trying to be safe, every night before I'd go to bed, on the side of the bed, I would take a dump. And then first thing, when I woke up, first thing, wake up, I would lean over, (laughs) and I would take a little taste. (laughs) I go, nope, that's shit, that tastes like shit. (laughs) We're good to go, honey, we're good to go. (laughs) 